Hey guys and welcome to my tutorial on how to animate a texture using GIMP. This also works with Paint.net, Photoshop, and um, other softwares. So as you can see, I've edited the TNT to make sort of like the flame move a little bit, and I've done the same with the stick. Uh, it kind of seems pointless for the stick, it was just for the sake of showing you guys. So now I'll show you how to do it. So first what you want to do is open your texture pack and click on assets minecraft textures and it's your choice you can edit anything in here but uh for the sake of this video i'm gonna edit one um one of the items which will be the sword so we have the stone sword right here so what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna right click and edit with gimp so once gimp has loaded your file you want to go to windows and open your toolbox and your layers pattern so your toolbox will be found here if you don't have it in windows and your layers will be found somewhere in here so i'm going to make it bigger using the zoom tool and i'm going to right click edit copy so as you can see our image is 16 by 16 pixels so what you want to do is set the height to 64 because you want to multiply 16 by 4 and click ok so once you have this open i want to zoom in a little bit again and then you're going to right click edit paste as new layer and you also want to delete the background so you select it and click on the garbage can so now you have no background you can see it's transparent so now what you want to do is you want to duplicate the layer three times so you click on it and then you click on duplicate layer three times and you're going to place them beneath each other and make sure they don't go in uh, each other's spaces so you have you pretty much have four frames now to deal with so you want to edit it one by one so I'm going to double click the pencil tool and I'm going to set the size to one pixel now zoom in a little bit more so now what I'm going to do is I'm going to select a color and edit a sword one by one so what I'm going to do is I'm going to take this right here yellow and I'm going to edit this slowly just like that and then I'm going to have to go down to the next frame and then do the same and then down to the last frame if I can select it there you go and then do it again so now these three swords are the same and this is the original frame so it's gonna go from this to that to that to that so I'm gonna edit these two last ones so by doing that I'm gonna select orange and then I'm gonna edit this one this and I'm gonna select the last frame I'm gonna do the exact same thing so now I'm gonna have to edit this last one to make it different from the second last one so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna select red this time kind of make it like a flame just to make it pretty basic so now they're all different which is what you want so now what you want to do is you want to go on export as and then you're gonna go on desktop and you're gonna find your texture pack so here's mine double click on it double click on assets double click minecraft textures I'm gonna go find that sword again so I'm gonna have to scroll all the way down and find the sword so here it is the stone sword.png so you want to click export and then it's gonna ask you if you want to replace it click replace so it'll replace the uh, original sword with this one with the four frames so now you can close this close that close game so now you can see we have four frames it's really small we can kind of see it so now if you put your default texture back in here close that up and you start minecraft again and you put this here and then you go select the stone sword you'll notice that it's it has purple and black tiles uh, and that's because you have done something wrong and in this case uh, you're missing your file so we're gonna go back get this file out open the resource pack folder so now you can see your texture pack double click on it go to assets minecraft textures and then items so now you're gonna go down uh, I have a code in the description just like this one wait I'm gonna have to edit it with notepad so you can use notepad you can use notepad plus plus I'm gonna use notepad plus plus so this code will be in the description just have to copy and paste it and close that and I'm gonna have to create a new file 
so remember this is store stone sword stone underscore sword so I'm gonna create a new text document so I'm gonna double click it I'm gonna paste it control V and I'm gonna go save as so now what you want to do is you want to save it as the exact same name so stone underscore sword dot PNG and what you have to do differently this time is uh, add dot MC meta so it turns into an MC meta file and you're gonna select all files not text if you do this it won't work so select all files save now you can close this you can delete this and let's go find that file so as you can see it's still an opi file you can kind of tell the difference between the MC meta file and the notepad file you see those lines going across the page so what you want to do is you want to open it and then you're going to minimize and you want to close this you want to delete it so now you just have this right here so you save as and you do the exact same thing again so stone underscore sword dot png dot mc meta and save it as all files save close that and boom it's an mc meta file just like that one so this should work so if you if you right click edit with notepad plus plus I'll explain everything quickly so the frame time it will be how fast the frames move from one to another so the lower the number the faster the frames will switch the higher the number the slower the frames will move from one to another and this is kinda like the order it goes from so zero is the first frame one is the second frame two is the third frame and three is the fourth frame so if you if you had six frames for example you just have to hit space four for the fifth frame and then comma space five for the sixth frame so anyways this is the order so you might have it like this so pretty much how it's gonna go it's gonna go one frame from the first frame to the second frame to the third frame to the fourth frame and then back to the first frame but I don't want that to do it like that so I'm gonna make it go back to the second back to the third frame my mistake and then back to the second frame and then back to the first frame so it goes from uh, beginning to end and back to beginning so now you want to just save that save exit out close that and then you want to bring it back into your selected resource packs so once you go back into the game you'll notice that uh, the frames have uh, been applied to the sword and it is sort of switching from yellow to orange to red so if you want to change the speed like I said you go back here you want to make sure this isn't selected anymore open resource pack folder so you want to go back and find that MC meta file for the stone sword here it is so you want to edit with notepad plus plus so I want to make it a lot slower so I'm gonna change it let's say to 8 so it should be a lot slower so save close that and then you can just hit that right there so you select it so as you can see it is a lot slower um, and that's because I changed the speed to 8 instead of 3 so you can make it even slower if you want so if this helped uh, remember to leave a like subscribe and comment if you want me to do a tutorial on how to animate a uh, texture in HD so I'll see you guys later